Thanks for watching with us. It's almost that time of the year again. Kids will be heading back to school in just a few short weeks. And that means back to school shopping and that can get expensive. Our Emily Byer joins us live in Green Bay with more on a local group helping out. Morning, Em. Hey guys, good morning everyone. So we are here at the Crest Event Center. You can see behind me, they have packed it full here. The Service League of Green Bay will be helping 1,500 children go back to school with everything they need. And you may hear that number and think 1,500. Okay, that's a lot, but you guys, Look at all these shoes. One pair of shoes. This is a kid. This is a kid. These are all little kids that are going to be getting everything they need to go back to school. So that's the incredible impact that this organization has. I'm joined by Jackie Off, your Service League member. Tell me a little bit about what's all happening here today. So like you said, 1,500 kids is a lot of kids. We are actually serving 3,000 total. So we've got 3,000 stuffed backpacks by the end of today. And as you said, they'll be able to come through, pick out all of their own new outfits, all their new school supplies, backpacks and stuff them full so they're ready to go. Yeah, oh, that's so incredible. And you guys do more than just the back to school part too. You guys are making sure that these kids are healthy. We absolutely are. We will have um, different services for the kids to go through. So we have dentists here that are on site. We have got people to help look at their vision um, and just make sure that they're, they're understanding the importance of personal hygiene and taking care of themselves. And why is it so important to make sure that you guys are kind of filling that gap? We were talking a little bit earlier about how, you know, some of these kids, uh, their families may not have the means, and we just want to make sure that they have what they need to go back to school. Absolutely. There's a saying where you want to start off on the right foot, and that's what we're helping these kids do for their first day of school, is if they don't have the supplies to make them successful, they're potentially not going to be successful when they start their school year. So we really want to set them up where they have a great first day and they're, they're being able to do and apply themselves to the fullest when they start school. Yeah, and you guys are still looking for some volunteers, correct? Absolutely. We really need help when it comes to people who are comfortable with serving special needs children and then also individuals who can speak Spanish. Would be Perfect. great. So we have more for you on our website, NBC26.com, to get to their website so you can sign up to do that. But you guys, if you can speak Spanish or you work with special needs kids, make sure to come on down. You guys are getting, they're getting started here around 8 o'clock. So come on down and help volunteer. You guys, all these kids are so excited to come in here and get their school supplies to go back to school. All right. Thank you so much, Emily. Yeah, that's a really exciting time for kids, and it's such a wonderful opportunity that they get to do that. So really nice. Yeah, it, it really is nice. Of course, back to school, you were saying maybe sometimes cooler weather for us, right? Yeah, kind of, you know, it gets that smell in the air. It just it feels different once school starts. Well, not today. It's going to feel like summer again. <laughs>